The most widely used method for finding out what parts of the brain we're employing when doing a task is called functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI. Because the huge magnet you go into means anything metal would get sucked in too, filming close to a real machine is impossible. So to find out how fMRI works, Okay, Alan, we're done. I can take you out now. I tried out a All fake right. scanner, courtesy of one of the world's experts in brain imaging, okay, MIT's Nancy you. Canwisher. That Excellent. noise is how very is that? convincing. What is this? You use this to we, this, is a, this is called a mock scanner. We yeah. use this uh, because we scan a lot of children, and we yeah. want them to be used to the scanning environment. When your brain is being scanned, what's going on in this, this functional MRI? Okay, so each beep you hear is a picture that we're taking of a slice through your brain. Mm -hmm. And what's special about functional MRI is that the brightness of each part of that image tells us how much neural activity is going on in that part of your brain. Why the brightness? What does the brightness have to do with it? What it the basic idea is that um, neurons are like muscles. So if a part of your brain turns on, say right here, and the neurons start firing there, it's just like using a muscle you need to send more blood to supply those neurons because it's metabolically expensive, just like running with a muscle. And so what happens when more blood is sent to that part of the brain is that the amount of oxygenated hemoglobin in that part of the brain changes. And that has a magnetic signature that we pick up with functional MRI. Your brain is a three-dimensional object, and we take pictures of it by making a series of slices, for example, like this. So we might choose, if we want to cover your whole brain, a series of 20 horizontal slices like this. And then within each slice, we have a nice 2D picture of what's going on in that slice. Each bang that you hear during a scanning yeah, sequence frightening is, bangs. Yeah, is a little um, radio frequency magnetic pulse that we send in that it's like pinging on a wine glass. It um, reorients the um, hydrogen atoms in your brain and the degree, the speed with which they come back to where they were is a measure of the amount of oxygenated hemoglobin in that okay, part of your brain. I, I understood some of that, but just enough to get scared. Now, you have to unscare me, <laughs> okay. because so if you're it, rearranging the hydrogen atoms in my brain. Oh, uh, you're just tipping them. It's no biggie. Just like giving them a little nudge. Yeah, they're, they're precessing on, a, on an axis like this, and you just tip them a little bit. It's no uh, biggie. It doesn't hurt. I mean, I'm kind of aware, in a general way, that magnetism and electricity are part of the same phenomenon, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So if you're messing around with magnetism in my head, aren't, aren't you doing something electrical to me too? I mean, am, am I in yeah. danger of, I, I'm, I'm being- we, we are doing things, but we're doing- I'm, I'm expressing a fear that some people may yeah. have. And I, and I sometimes, in, you know, when I, if I let myself think like this, I might have it too. So, right. so tell me about it. Okay, it's true that we are disrupting the brain with magnetic and electric fields but we're doing so in very subtle, small ways. And so I think the main reason to be reassured is that this method has been used for decades with no evidence of any problem. Animal safety studies have you know, raised entire animals for their whole life while being scanned. Mm -hmm. uh, with um, uh, pregnant animals, um, rats raising pups inside a scanner with no problem. And if it's a more direct reassurance, I have very close to the world record, probably not the world record, but very close myself for total number of hours spent in there. Hundreds of hours, <laughs> yeah. and I haven't noticed anything. I gotta Maybe look you should up. ask my colleagues. I gotta look you up in Guinness, this is great. <laughs>